So a lot of people ask me when is the right time to start applying for jobs and what to do to actually land your first job or get your foot in the door, right? So in this video, I'll be tackling those two questions so you can know when it's the right time to start applying for jobs and to actually land that first job. All right, let's get started. So the first thing I'm going to talk about is what to learn. So in this channel, I talk about software development, but if you want to learn machine learning or AI, you can go to the internet and try to find out some of the things you need to know first before you actually get started to apply for jobs. But I'm going to focus on software development, but some of the other tips that I'm going to talk about, they're going to apply regardless of whatever field you're in or you want to pursue. So in software development, things that you need to learn to actually be ready to start applying for jobs is HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. So once you have those three things down, then you, that's when you can actually go out and start applying for jobs. But another thing that you need to learn that goes hand in hand with those three skills is Git. So basically Git is a version control system. So to summarize what it is, it's basically a, a platform where you can get your code on the internet so that other people can be able to access your code and run it on their computer and see how your code behaves basically right so also learn git is not like the learning curve of git is not the same as the learning curve for like when you're learning a programming language you can learn git in one day and as you practice and practice you'll be able to learn a lot of things in git and be good at it right so you need to learn html css and javascript so while you're applying for jobs keep learning right keep learning so learning javascript framework so there are three most popular frameworks in javascript that you can learn which is which is Vue, angular and react right so but make sure you make your research because it's different from every other country so in south africa the most popular framework that most companies use is angular so if you're from south africa learn angular if you're from another country just do your own research and you'll find out which framework is mostly used by many companies in that country right so while you are learning keep applying for jobs don't stop because you got rejected and learn something else then stop right there until you know everything in that framework then apply again no keep applying for jobs there will be that one job that will be a perfect fit for you and you will learn that job right so keep applying for jobs as you're learning so also you can learn a css framework like sas and less or a library like bootstrap i learned sas as i was applying for jobs right so sas is mostly used by most companies so that's the reason why i actually decided to learn sas you can also learn bootstrap you can learn sas or less right so just decide on which uh, css framework you want to learn so the tip here is to learn html css and javascript then apply for jobs then as you as you keep learning more technologies just keep on applying for jobs don't stop because you got rejected so just keep on applying for jobs all right before you continue just a bit of introduction my name is Gadlero. i'm a self-taught software developer and on this channel i share some tips and my experience of how i became a software developer in order to make it easy for you guys to get started get you motivated and get encouraged okay if that's of interest to you make sure you subscribe to my youtube channel i like this video all right let's continue so other people ask me like how many hours i spend actually learning programming right so i was not really monitoring the amount of hours that i was that i've invested in learning programming because i've learned programming during the pandemic so i spent most hours or most days indoors right so i had more time to actually learn programming so it was in 2020 so i learned a lot of things while i was indoors so i will spend like the rest of the day learning programming basically pr practicing like i learned something for an hour then i practice and practice if i don't know something if i did something wrong i keep watching that video to see where i made the mistake and uh actually rectify my mistake in the code right so but what i recommend you to do because i know a lot of you guys you get busy with school or work or something like that but you want to learn programming just spend at least two hours a day learning programming right you can spend an hour 
watching a video or finding out uh, a specific fr framework or something that you want to learn a technology that you want to learn then spend another hour practicing so just spend at least two hours a day learning programming all right let's get to the next tip so the next tip here is to build a portfolio so once you've learned html css and javascript that's all you need to actually build a portfolio actually you don't really need to learn javascript to build a portfolio but of course if you want to make it more advanced to show people that you're actually good at javascript then you can also include javascript in your code as you build that portfolio like to do things like animations those sort of things so once you know those three build a portfolio it will boost you to actually learn more interviews because i know a lot of companies they actually want to see that portfolio to know what you're capable of, right? So once you have a portfolio, it will help you and boost you to actually get more interviews and to be able to progress. There shouldn't be many pages on your portfolio. Just make sure you have three things down on your, on your website. Have a section where you talk about yourself. Have a section where you showcase the projects that you've built. Have a section where you tell them about the skills that you have, right? Because if you have more skills like like Microsoft Azure, you can't really showcase that you know that on that page, right? You can only tell them because that's the only way they can be able to find out that you have that skill. So make sure that you mention all the skills that you have so they have an idea of what type of a developer you are. All right, let's go to the next tip. Okay, here I'm going to talk about the platforms that you can use to actually go ahead and apply for jobs, right? So... There are two main platforms that I've used to actually learn the jobs that I've gotten throughout the years, right? So these two platforms are LinkedIn and Indeed.com. So those are the platforms that I've used to actually apply for jobs. I haven't, I've tried other platforms, but they don't really give me any results that I can work with, right? But using those platforms, I was able to learn more interviews and to be able to get some jobs then there, right? So use Indeed com and also use linkedin all right let's go to the next tip okay on this tip i'm going to talk about uh, how many times you should apply for jobs right so once you know html css and javascript like i said that's when you can start applying for jobs but make sure you are consistent in applying for jobs so apply to at least five jobs a day right i know that might seem much but there are a lot of companies which are looking for developers out there they're looking for software developers so if you make sure that you apply for at least five jobs a day you'll be able to get more chance to actually land that interview right so like, just like in sales the more you approach if you approach five people a day then you only have uh, a smaller probability that you find the person who actually who will actually buy the product that you're selling but if you approach 100 people in a day then there's a higher chance or a higher probability that you'll be able to actually land that first customer or you can even land multiple customers who will buy the product that you're selling, right? So make sure that you, you apply to at least five jobs a day. So that will add up to 35 jobs in a week. So make sure you make it consistent in making your job to actually apply to five jobs a day. All right, let's go to the next tip. This is something that I've learned as I was trying to figure out some of the ways that I can use to actually learn a job much faster. So I'm going to share this tip with you, which helped me learn a contracting job. It didn't really uh, get me a full-time job, but in your case, of course, you can learn a full-time job with this method. But in my case, I landed a contracting job. So I just took the opportunity. I didn't really want to pass on the opportunity because it's an opportunity that came to me. So I just took it. So. I'm going to show this method with you. So what I did is you can go to LinkedIn. Um, or I use LinkedIn because it has a lot of features. So go to LinkedIn, then search for the words tech recruiter. Then once you've searched that, once you get the results, there'll be a button at the top where you can press to, to show only people because you might get posts, people, uh, jobs that have that those ways tag recruiter so make sure you click on people just like on facebook if you search for something on the results you see posts you see people you see pages with those words so make sure you click on people so it only shows the results of people right so click on a random person then you do take you to their profile right 
once you get to that profile make sure you click on connect to make sure that you connect with, with that person and there's a higher chance that that person will connect with you once they visit your profile to see that you actually a software developer right so once they connect with you then you can send them a message right it'll help you to actually uh get a job much faster and get an interview much faster so once that person connects with you send them a message but make sure you personalize that message you don't want to seem like a robot so make sure you personalize that message as possible you can go to that profile pick up something that is interesting to you mention it to them then it will sound much more personal right so i can share a message that i've sent to the recruiter who actually got me the contracting job right so you can find that message in the description you can customize it however you want then send it to that recruiter that you found all right those are the tips that i have for you guys today to help you land that first job all right that's it for this video guys thank you guys so much for watching and if you haven't subscribed yet to my channel make sure you subscribe to this channel and like this video if you found it helpful all right thank you guys for watching bye